<laughs> you were a slippery one, my friend. But you got careless. Now you're going away for a very, very long time. How do you think your wife's going to support your uh, two children with you on the slammer? Why don't you do the smart thing? Cut a deal. Give me some names, some dates. You know, I'll speak to the DA. Maybe he'll go easier on you. Go to town and Mary bought Uncle John. He claimed he had the music, but he having a lot of fun, oh baby. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Interview commencing at 2.33 p.m. Present is myself, Robert Aiken, and suspect, Fred Burnington. I've got to tell you, Mr. Burnington, that this recording may be used as evidence admissible in a court of law. Now, the formality's out of the way. We can place you at four crime scenes. And as far as I can tell, you have no alibi. What have you got to say for yourself? Keeping your secrets to yourself, hey, Burnington? No matter, you're going nowhere. You've got a bit nervous, Burnington. How about a drink of water? Calm the nerves? Sorry, me old mucker. You don't help me, I don't help you. As they say, mi casa, su casa. Now, I'm getting angry, Burnington. Your window for making a deal is fast closing. And the evidence we've got on you, you need this deal, just to stay out of the chair. So what, do you think you can just ignore me and your problems are going to go away? I'm trying to do this by the book, Burnington, but you, you're bringing out the bad guy. Is that what you want to do? You want to bring out the bad guy? Okay. You want to bring out the bad guy? Okay. Well, say hello to my little friend. Is that what you want, Burnington? For me to throw the book at you? <sighs> <laughs> I don't suppose you want to explain this? I don't suppose you want to explain that? Oh. I didn't say anything. Me neither.